This is the first in a series of videos explaining how to install Solar Edge's three phase inverter with Synergy technology up to 120 kilowatts. In this video, we'll explain how to mount the inverter on the wall. But first, let's identify the inverter's main components. This next generation of inverter is comprised of two or three Synergy units, depending on the inverter power rating, and one Synergy manager. Each Synergy unit weighs 70 pounds, while the Synergy manager weighs only 40 pounds. This means that a two-person installation crew can easily carry the module inverter components without requiring any heavy machinery. There are two ways to mount the inverter on a surface, vertically or horizontally. This video focuses on vertical mounting. When planning the inverter's installation location, consider the minimum clearance distance required for proper heat dissipation. If you plan to install multiple inverters in a row, the clearance distance between the inverter sides should be at least 6 inches for indoor installations. Note that the minimum clearance distance increases to 8 inches if the average maximum temperature in your location is 77 degrees Fahrenheit or above. For outdoor installations, the clearance distance between the two inverters can be reduced to 2 inches. Use the provided template to ensure the required spacing between all Synergy units and Synergy Manager. Place one side of the template against the wall and use the spirit level to mark the location of holes for each Synergy unit. For all brackets, make sure to mark at least two horizontal holes. Remember to mark the two red middle vertical holes of the bracket. You'll need them when positioning the Synergy Manager bracket during the next stage of this process. Turn over the template and align it on the two red center holes of the left Synergy Unit's bracket. Then use the level mark to position the Synergy Manager's bracket, located at the bottom part of the template. Next, drill the holes for each bracket in the previously marked locations and insert anchors. Then place the left Synergy Unit's bracket against the wall and insert the relevant screws. Don't tighten them yet in order to correct the positioning if required. Repeat the same process for the remaining brackets. Use the level to verify the position of all Synergy Unit brackets. If the brackets are perfectly leveled, tighten the screws all the way and verify that the brackets are firmly attached to the mounting surface. Repeat the same process for the Synergy Manager bracket. Now it's time to mount the Synergy units. Lift the center Synergy unit from its sides. Align the two indentations on the enclosure with the two triangular mounting tabs on the bracket, and lower the Synergy unit until it's evenly resting on the bracket. Then insert and fasten the two supplied fixation screws from both sides of the Synergy unit. Use a torque of 4 Newton meters. Repeat the same process for the remaining Synergy units. Note that for the left and right Synergy units, you can only fasten the fixation screw on the side that is open. Next, we'll mount the Synergy Manager. Lift the Synergy Manager from its sides. Align the two side flanges of the Synergy Manager with the side mounting tabs of the bracket. Then lower the Synergy Manager straight from the top to bottom until it's evenly resting on the bracket. Then insert and fasten the two supplied fixation screws to secure the Synergy Manager to the wall, one from the left side of the Synergy Manager and one behind the Synergy Manager. Use a torque of four Newton meters. Your inverter mounting is now complete. Please join us in the next video of this series, where we'll guide you through the wiring process for the three-phase inverter with Synergy technology up to 120 kilowatts.